All right, so it's not the biggest part I've ever made, but it is still really cool. The Stanley Cup is an awesome trophy, and I made one today on my Swiss machine for you guys. And also, this is more of like an average size part, so it's not too much clickbait. I don't know, bro, that thing's pretty tiny. In 2002, I was six rows from the ice when the Detroit Red Wings won the Stanley Cup. And ever since, I have been hooked on hockey. Well, now I live in Dallas, so I'm rooting for the Dallas Stars. Sorry, Red Wings. And uh, right now, they're actually in the semifinals. So I thought it'd be pretty cool on my Swiss machine today to make a little Stanley Cup and say, hey, go Stars. I mean, the Stanley Cup itself is an insanely cool trophy, right? You get your name permanently engraved on it. I've always thought that's cool. In my opinion, it's probably the hardest trophy to win in all sports. I mean, you have to win 16 out of a potential 28 games to get to the cup. That's pretty hard to do. You'll notice too, I ran one out of brass to show you guys the turning. The uh, inserts here are first stainless, but again, I had to whip this up in one day. I wanted to get this video out in time for the stars to possibly see it. Go stars. That's not the stars logo, don't do that. <laughs> Just want to say thank you, Everson Fab, for joining our YouTube channel and helping us reach our goal of giving free education to the entire manufacturing industry. If you want to get shouted out in a Titans of CNC video, plus get some free merch, hit that join button below. Now, back to the video. All right, so the Stanley Cup as a part actually might look a little complex at first, but once you take away the solid model and go into the 2D geometry, you can actually see it's a pretty simple part. So this is why this is a really good like beginner's project. If you're new to Swiss, it's a fun little thing you can do. So the whole outside of this part is broken down into just three turning tool paths. I have my finish main here where I use a VCMT to come in and profile the first half of the part. And because my stock isn't ground, I actually did two finish passes here. And the part came out really round, so I, I wanted this engraving to show up clearly, right? If this part came out out of round at all, because my stock's a couple thou oversized, you'd have engraving on one half of the part and no engraving on the other. So this is one of the tricks you can do if you don't have ground stock. You can take a really slight skim pass, and because there's no tool pressure, it will really create a pretty round object. So after my V-style insert's done turning, I back turn a little bit of the cup with a DCMT going the other way, and then I finish turn on this OD right here using a V-style insert. And then I come in and do the engraving. Now this is something that I thought was pretty cool. So right there, I just engraved one line, right? Now, it would be a real big pain if I had to go through and create like 60 features like this one after the other. I only wanna program one and then duplicate it around. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. It's really simple. When I look at my first engraving slot on my part, I have just this one tool path, right? Well, I wanna create 60 of these total. So all I have to do is create one and go over here, right click and space, say copy, rotate. I want 60, so I'm gonna say 59 copies. I'll say okay, and I'll rotate them around this line. You now have 59 copies going around and putting that on there. And that's what's kind of cool about this. If you look at how I did all this, it's just really simple 2D tool paths, but I just copy and rotate them around for everything. All right, so the next feature is like the little swirl you'll see back here underneath the backside of the cup. That one's actually pretty easy too. So all I had to do here was create this feature. And how I did that is, is I clicked on the outside perimeter of this little, um, I don't know, swirl, I guess you could call it right here, and I created an auto chain. Once I did that, it was just wrap contouring again, and then the same thing, I wanted 20 of them, so I click on it, right click, copy, rotate, 19 copies, say okay, click around this line, and you'll get all of this. And that is how you use 2D geometry to create something that looks 3D, right? That's just one line, but because the shape of the ball nose end mill, it creates that exact kind of pattern that's on the cup. Now, me personally, I use a one millimeter ball nose end mill to engrave a lot of stuff. You don't have to go very deep. You just go a couple thousands and you're gonna get a pretty good shape. Now you wanna use something like this on a Swiss because if you get an actual engraving tool that's to a sharp point, with standard live tools, you are not gonna be able to go at the RPMs required to get something that looks like this. You're probably gonna break an actual engraving tool instantly. You need like 100,000 RPM minimum to use an engraving tool and use it quickly. If not, you're gonna be going so slow. I mean, even slower than this. So if you just use a ball nose end mill and you only go about a thousands deep, I find it gives you a nice burr-free part, looks good, comes out fine. Oh yeah, and go stars, woo! <laughs>
<laughs> That's it to processing a Stanley Cup. Again, it's a really fun beginner's project. If you are new to Swiss and you wanna make something cool and you're into hockey, so all 2% of you that are watching this video, definitely it's a fun project to make. You may not have a Swiss machine, but you do have a chance to win one of five of these that we're giving away to our level three members. Now you also have to be on our Discord to get this, so make sure you join our Discord and join that membership down below. Level three people, we're giving away five of these. Now back to the video. That's my mini Stanley Cup. Nothing too crazy there. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And also, if anyone from the Dallas Stars is watching this, I'm totally cool with you giving me free tickets. Just saying, just, just throwing that out there. If you haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe, and ring that notifications bell so you can keep getting updates on when videos like this come out. Have a good day. Bye.